You reckon Sean's gonna be okay? Who knows? I hope so. He usually is. Hey, Arthur. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to Sean. Let's go, girl. You're all right, girl. Hey, Arthur. Miss Karen, all good? You good.
Easy, whoa. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? I... Just... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. <sighs> Oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north... Or side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way, we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on, let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like. Seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. All right, I think those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? 
If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sorry, girl. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brother, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. Who's She's taken ill. Where is she? A terrible turn. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Ugh! <clears throat> 
Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Come on, let's get up there. up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Still time. less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. 
I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. Let's go, girl. I'm glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. All right. Come in. Lead the way. So how'd you find it? You said he was going hunting? Never returned. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point! What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. There they are, on foot from here. Take out your position. Hey, you idiots ever hear of Dutchess, boys? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what happened. Well, it's coming your way. 
We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Uh, hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Get us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a nice warm cell. Then you can talk all you want. <laughs> for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse his bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Yeah. 
best quit following me. That's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do what the hell's wrong with you? Well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. One stagecoach. This is nothing. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. Is that what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, Seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Ah, watch out! <laughs> that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's 
see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can drive the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, sir? Robert Crawford III, sir. Yep. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name... My name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now, that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I have been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford III? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better. Way better than jerks. And tries to be useful. Friends. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. Oh, God Almighty. Or whomever built it. And gold, sir. Gin. They drink gin. And 
what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? It creates movement in the spine. Whereas your whiskey, made with brain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. It's a hobble and shock. Please. down here a little. Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. You idiot. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Here we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Hey, slow it down. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. 
I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Herr Strauss. Had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish.
Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. I'm not running anywhere. I'm... Pay the money, you'll make this stop. I wouldn't pay it up have been a little easier. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good, I'm glad. Morning. friend back ah how did you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money well people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions of course oh hey Dutch looks real heavy in Blackwater Dutch Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. You revolt me. Please don't be like this, Mr. Morgan.
My lady. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Morning, mister. You squirming little maggot. So you keep saying. Come on, Arthur. You cool it down. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. Yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Come on, the girl. Good There he is. You've been taking good care of that boy. I'll sleep well tonight. I know your type. Keep moving. <laughs> I'll have nothing to do with you. Hey, let me see that ugly mug. <laughs> I've been cursed out worse by my flesh and blood. Oh, yeah. Even worse than I thought. I'll help you die. That's what you want. Maybe I should punch it into shape. All right. Ah! Yep. Wow, fine horse there. That son of a bitch Martian's got an in for all of us.
Not bad, girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me...
beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, girl. Good. twisted my ankle something fierce think you could give me a ride i ain't for hire lady find someone else no oh. well ride on then Someone show kindness on a man with no say. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Okay, sure. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it.
Peace. Whoa. across the Lanahassee, into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety, 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 shell of Path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... 
I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry and horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick, or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hey, howdy, sir. and move. Be more careful. Good to see you again, pardon. So, what are you aiming for today? Let me see what's available. It's yours now. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick.
Well, with Valentine connecting the west to the east, they get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? If you need anything, let me know. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Mmm. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Fine piece. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. Good, good. Anything else, let me know. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, 
parts back here. Smart addition. Essential, I reckon. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Driscoll boys been seen rustling again up at Painted Sky Ranch. The hell's going on with this place? So it goes. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you.
Thank you. I knew you'd be back. Got everything you need. Have a look. Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. That's mighty popular these days. Saw Morris from the auction yard leaving the hotel again this morning. Guess his wife kicked him out again. I sell out of that pretty fast. All right. And that some of the fellers who play poker down at Flat Neck Station said they had some clergyman in, drunk out of his mind. Got a fella out of jail for a Thanks. bottle of whiskey. Wasn't even the expensive stuff. I had. Who's this then? Mister? Hello, mister. Didn't you call me friends around here already? Good to see you again, fella. Have a look. Hey! That area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. I mind you to treat my store with respect. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Get out of my shop. I ain't serving you if you're gonna act that way. You get gone. Well then. Me. Come on, open up. Here. Now you go keep the people safe. You better I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you tomorrow. You're starting to rile me now, pal. You get the hell out of here.
Laura, don't be like that, please. How do you want me to be? Well, I love you. You don't love anyone, not me, not your wife, no one. Oh, you're impossible. Impossible? Really? I wasted years on you, and I'm impossible. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. He's a cat. That's your problem. Go to hell. Couldn't pay me to be you. For. Let sure. me into that back room of yours, right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business you got going back here. <laughs>
Push forward. See you back, sir. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. See you around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Easy, girl. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old clown. I'll keep them... ...girls in line. If I have Let's to live on ourselves a party. Give you a little bump on the head. <sighs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the... the f Finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, Bath. Have fun. Have. Lots of fun. <laughs> I just can't get rid of you, can I? Hey, mind if I join you, fine folk? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. Oh, so, what now? Okay. Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have Listen, some my fun. Friend. <laughs> He's been through Do a lot. Do you know the Louisville lady? I thought you enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all day. She says, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all day. I put my hand upon her ass for a well when I say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all day. And then they jump back in again. You know what? That taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something. A little more civilized. That's good to be back. I even miss Jim. That's right. And I miss the good And if you can tell the difference between us, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man. Look at me with the bell of the ball. Stop it, you.
Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Oh, I'm a wild free ranging rover. I roam and sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. With a light, light heart I roam along. Oh, I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. With a light, light heart I roam along. With a light, light heart I roam along. So you're drinking, pals, back.